It's Tuesday. It's uh, May. May. Come on, Fitbit. It's May 19th. Does it matter? You know what? It does matter. Every week since this damn thing started, I've been talking about how I don't know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. I don't know what month we're in. Is it still 2020? Have we gone like back to the... I don't know. Today feels like today. Today is Tuesday. It's May 19th and it's our day. Yours and mine. Mine and yours. Mainly mine. Yours is yours. Stay away from my day. I'll stay away from yours. How about that? We're owning the day. Is that a little too positive? I'm feeling it. Because I had a good weekend. I, I just needed a weekend that didn't feel like a pandemic. And that's what I did. I did it. I went camping. I left. I went into the woods. And by woods, I mean the desert. So the opposite of the woods. A place that used to be the woods before I got blasted with heat and sand and cactuses and was turned into a desert. I went out there. I went to Joshua Tree. And uh, it was the best thing to recharge my batteries that there could have been. I think camping is the only thing you can do that will make you feel like you're that there's no lockdown, that there are no rules. You don't have to keep six feet distance because there's nobody there. Animals don't abide by that. Plants don't. You're just out there. You're back in time. There's no news. There's no tweets. Cell phone reception's horrible. It's where you need to be. Out in the woods, you have no clue what's going on. No one's upset. There's no woman being ejected out of a uh, red lobster and then having it go viral on Twitter, nothing. It's beautiful, no celebrities are dead, no one's telling you to take malaria drugs to feel better, no one's telling you it's a conspiracy, no one's telling you to listen to the nerds or don't believe the nerds, it's beautiful. You're just out there with your thoughts, which sounds scary, but as long as you bring good thoughts into the open air, good thoughts are gonna make you feel good. I'm telling you, I'm feeling too good. I feel like a motivational speaker, that big dumb, who's that big ogre? You know that guy? Who's that guy? Anthony Robbins, Tony Robbins, he just comes in with his big dumb head and his stupid hands, and he's just like, you gotta see, that's how I'm feeling. My heart feels as big as, as Tony Robbins' giant face. That's how big my heart feels. I just needed two days away from having to wear a mask, two days away from having to wait in line to go to the grocery store to get a coffee, to, to in my mind figure out if I was enough steps away from the person in front of me. That's all I needed. And it was amazing. And I feel good. And I'm, I've been back for two days and it still doesn't bother me. I'm bounding down the street. Well, everybody is keeping a nice halo of safety away from me. It's beautiful. This is the first time I felt like there's been a light at the end of the tunnel. I feel like we're almost done with this. More and more things are opening. They opened up the casino. A bunch of degenerate gamblers lined up like junkies to go pull the one-armed bandit. And I'm not judging them, all right? Everyone's got a vice. Some people's vice is drugs. Some people's vice is alcohol. Some people's vice is gambling. I'm very lucky that my vice is caffeine and Nutella. So no judgment, but I see a light at the end of the tunnel. Slowly, we're going to get to go back uh, to life.